Good morning, everyone. A good Tavach and Shavua Tov. We are continuing here in the words of the Chavitz Chaim, where he is describing the lethal effects of Lashon Hara that a person speaks, how it not only is the sin itself, but it destroys the mouth, it destroys the power of Kedusha that we have in our Torah and our mitzvahs, and the tefillah and the prayers that are uttered from our lips, those lips become damaged, they become rusty, they become pagam, they have blemishes in them, and then the words of Torah that we say, they don't reach kiseh kavod. The words of tefillah, of prayer that we utter from our lips, they don't make it up into the heavens, and therefore we're only hurting ourselves as we continue to speak Lashon Hara. If you dig deeper into this idea, we will find besides the fact that Lashon Hara is a terrible sin. As we mentioned previously, a person continues to expand the kilku, the destruction in all of the worlds, spiritual worlds, and there's spiritual light in all the spiritual worlds that we can't see with our own eyes, but that light is what brings the luminescence down to this world, the shechina to this world, the kedusha to this world into our lives. When a person speaks Lashon Hara, it's like they dim the lights in the spiritual worlds and then we are living in darkness down here. Because of the regular activities of speaking Lashon Hara that many people have. They increase and they they repeat again and again and again this terrible love, the prohibition of Lashon Hara, many hundreds of thousands of times in their life. Again, Rabbi Isai, we don't listen enough to what we're saying. How many times a day we breach the laws of Lashon Hara? Imagine if a person lives 80 years, 90 years, 100 years, and every single day they said at least one word of Lashon Hara. You'll do the math, that's tens of thousands of times that a person ended up doing this sin. And if they love speaking Lashon Hara, and they really have no awareness of what the halachas are, that means they're probably speaking Lashon Hara 10, 20, 30 times a day over the period of 80, 90 years. That's hundreds of thousands of words of Lashon Hara that a person has spoken. Even a little tiny sin that a person repeats many times. At the end of the day, that one little sin, which is repeated again and again, it turns into the ropes of an agola of a wagon the big ropes that are being used by the wagon driver to hold on to the horses, to make sure the wagon's going in the right place, they have to be very thick and very strong that they shouldn't snap. A person that does the sin of Lashon Hara again and again, he ends up creating, doubling over, that his sins become thick as those ropes. Like Yeshaya the prophet screamed, Woe to those that are pulling the ropes of sin. Like the thickness of the ropes of a wagon. They have sinned. They did it so many times that it became massive. The mashal, the parable is, If you have strands of silk that you continue to wrap around each other, a Many times, a hundred times, it becomes thick. All the more so, this sin of Lashon Hara. It is such a stringent sin in and of itself. And so many people transgress this prohibition thousands and hundreds of thousands of times in their life. They never take it upon themselves to guard themselves from speaking Lashon Hara. Rachman al a person continues to go through life and he just sins in this Lashon Hara. Certainly, 
the kilkul, the destruction that is taking place in the higher worlds is unimaginable. You cannot count, you cannot fathom how great the destruction truly is. And therefore, says the Chavetz Chaim, we have to wisen ourselves up over here. We have to begin to think to ourselves, how are we going to improve our situation in Lashon Hara in order that we shouldn't create ropes that are so thick from the hundreds of thousands of words that have leaked out of our mouth over the years? And the way to do it is learning Sefer Chavetz Chaim so that we build up an awareness for ourselves what, what we are allowed to say and what we're not allowed to say protect our lips we have to guard our lips from saying the wrong things so that we should be people that don't speak Lashon Hara, bad Lashon we speak Lashon Taiv we speak good words that will find favor in the eyes of Hashem have a wonderful day and a wonderful week